I'm Damon Zell, and today we are going to be discussing the new event in the Eve Echoes, the Interstellar Bazaar Neon Rain. We're going to talk about the good aspects, we're going to talk about the bad aspects, and the overall community support or withdrawal from this event. But first, if you can tag that subscribe button, ring that bell, share and like the video, you can stay up to date with everything that my channel has to offer. Alright, so let's get right into exactly what this event is. This is an uh, economic event, not a playable event, such as the Crimson Harvest that we also loved a year ago last Halloween. Not the one that just passed, but the one before that in 2020. Now, the unlike the other um, economy-fueled events, this one is Plex and ISK-driven. Thank God NetEase didn't um, make it AUR. There would be an even bigger rebel on their hands if they did. Now, the first things that we see about this event is the new splash screen when you get into the game. That login splash screen itself. Now, once you're inside the game, if you're in an ITC, mostly it's centered around Jita, but you will see this in other ITCs. They have changed the external parameters of that um, station itself and it now looks as if it's basically a, a club or a rave going on in space. Now the developers have gone on record saying that they wanted the event to feel as if it's your crowd in a city during the rain and you hear the music and the neon shining through the rain and the crowd is just kind of pushing towards that uh, big event. Now once you get past the the big changes made to the ITC. And if, if you look out on the outside, it is it is actually really nice. And I, I do like this. I, I wish they would do stuff like this randomly. You know, not events where they, you know, trying to pry your plex away. But just the graphical change itself is really nice. I like the uh, equalizer on top of the ITC and the spotlights going in and out. I, I just think it's a, a really cool change. And then once you go inside the ITC, you'll see even more spotlights, you'll see, you know, equalizers, you'll see the, the rain, uh, neon rain's kind of going off in the distance. Basically, all what you would see on the actual nanocore skin itself. And we're going to get into those and show exactly what they look like. And they do look pretty damn cool. Now, this event goes from the 17th of November to the 1st of December. And once you open up your event screen, You'll see under the Interstellar Bazaar that you can turn on or off the music if you're not in an ITC. If you're in Jita, you're going to hear that music playing regardless. And it is a pretty cool track. I have it playing right now in the background. And once you have it open and you press play, you'll see some floating text. You'll see it's a nice little lore from the scope uh, about some background on the event itself. Flavor text. But let's get down to the meat and potatoes of what's in this event. And that is the new Neo uh, Rain Nanocore available for most of these ships. Now, as you can see, it looks fantastic. I love the animation of this skin and the overall color scheme of it. It just looks really good. And look how it looks at the end of this video here on the Dreadnought, the Revelation. It, it just looks phenomenal. But we're going to get to that aspect of the cap side and a little bit on the bad side of things. Now, once you're inside the store, you're going to see something called a Lucky Chest. It's up top. It's going to show you what Lucky Prize is of the day. And these go, uh, these do change every 24 hours. So far, we've seen a Bargist, we've seen a Vindicator, a Macario, a Rattlesnake. Uh, today, it's a Balgorn. And out of these, there are only five on the entire server. But the chance to hit it is minuscule. So we, please keep that in mind when you are getting and opening up these chests and unfortunately no holding the chest for a better prize if you buy a chest on the day that there is a, a vindicator or a bargist and you decide to wait a couple days to open it that prize is still going to be in that pool and the sooner you open that chest the better chance you are going to have of getting it so basically if there's five of five when you go to open the chest but a couple of days from now because when you open that chest that day, it will still show that prize. It could be 0 of 5 or 1 of 5. So a very big decreased chance of winning that. Now, there is a little exclamation point you can hit that gives you basically the event content. Basically, it's just saying that all the chests that you purchase will have a 100% chance to grant its original item, such as 
the nanocore, if you buy it for the battleship, you're 100% guaranteed to get that nanocore. They also go on to tell you the same thing, that some of the rewards in the daily prize pool, that lucky pool, is limited in number, which is shared by everyone on the server. And they also want you to know that different chests have different probabilities of granting the prizes uh, of them. And then they tell us about the lucky chart, which we are going to go into in depth uh, shortly. Uh, basically, every chest that you open has a chance to gain luck. It's not really determined, you know, how much luck you're going to get from each one, but the rarer the chest, the more luck reward you can trigger. Now, as you're opening up these chests and you're gaining this luck, you will then be ranked upon everyone else's uh, luck on the server itself. And on that event window, you can check the lucky chart to see exactly where you rank amongst everyone on the server. But let's take a look at some of the prizes that we have going on here. The first thing they have for 150 plex is the IP chest. Now that IP chest for 150 plex gives you 600 insurance points and you also have a chance of hitting a basic Omega clone or a standard Omega clone as well. And of course this does give you a chance to win that prize of the day such as the Balgorn or Vindicator. However, this is only going to give you a uh, 0.02% chance of gaining that lucky uh, prize. Well, the big one that is. Because there are several of them during the day. Like the others are going to be rigs, integrated rigs or C-type weapons or just regular rigs themselves. And those have a higher percent chance overall to uh, get acquired. But everyone's shooting for that battleship. Everyone's shooting for that, that special big, big prize, and you know that. Now that goes for the same with the Nanocore Material Lucky Chest. That's also gonna give you a 0.02% chance of winning that battleship of the day. Now there are two items that you can purchase with uh, ISK, and that would be your Nano Source Lucky Chest. One's for 25 million, the other is for 10 million. Now these chests right here that are purchased with ISK do not have a chance of winning the big prize of the battleship. You can still get the extra loot of the integrated rig, uh, regular rig, uh, large weapons, but to get that big prize, you are gonna have to actually get either the uh, IP nanocore or the nanocore box. Now, these nanocores are better than the thermomagnetic storm core 2. And like I said, they look pretty hot. So, so far we got the good takeaways. We have the music, which is actually really good. We have the change to the ITC and the Splash Parade's art, which is really nice. The nano skins are exquisite. Love the new nano skin. Now, let's move on to the bad. Now, the community itself is kind of outraged. They view this as a cash grab. And I agree and disagree at the same time. Now, hear me out why I disagree. I disagree because this event is not fueled by AUR, it's fueled by Plex. And you have those players sitting on mountains of Plex, hundreds of thousands of Plex, because those day one players were able to get Plex at a phenomenally cheap uh, rate. I remember when Plex was going for hundreds of ISK, and then just thousands of ISK, before it even reached a million. So you had people already sitting on mountains and mountains of Plex. and. Those of you that do have a lot of Plex, that don't want to take a part of this event, can still benefit because this event itself is driving the price of Plex through the roof. Before this event, Plex was trading between 1.1 to 1.3 million per Plex. Now, uh, as of today, Plex is just at that cost of 1.6 million per Plex. So even if you don't want to take a uh, part of the event itself, you can sell off any uh, of the Plex that you have before these prices start to dip again. Now, a lot of people are calling this a whale event because you do need that Plex and because of the lucky chart itself. Oh, and don't be concerned so much about luck. Every day, you're gonna get three chests in your mail, and I know it's not a lot, but at least the minimum luck you can get from those chests are three, so you're at least gaining nine luck every day. Now, currently in game, the top spot is 1695 luck and the 20th spot is 573 luck the way this leaderboard works is the rank 1 through 20 
is going to receive a Neon Rain Nanocore Capital Box. While players uh, ranked 21 through 200 will receive a Neon Rain Faction Battleship Nanocore Box. And this is the rub. This is why people are calling it a whale event. Because this is the only way for you to get a actual Nanocore for any capital ship in the game. So what NetEase is basically saying is, if you have a capital and you want a Nanocore, you are going to basically pay through the nose to get it. And that's one thing I have a problem with. Now, it'd be different if they were offering that Nanocore in the store itself for some kind of astronomical uh, price, but at least it would be available for those that want to do that and not have to burn through entire stockpiles trying to beat out everyone else on the server uh, to get it. Now, another gripe and another complaint of the community about this event itself is the cost of the boxes. And the cost of these boxes are insane. Uh, if you want to get that Faction Nanocore, it's 4,250 Plex. Now, that is before any discounts. And yes, you can get discounts. They've given every content creator discount coupons to give away. Also, when they were running that event of who could build what capital ship first, that chart, each one that hit that chart also was gifted uh, discount codes. Now, I do have some discount codes left. I've been giving them out randomly here and there to the community. But if you, after this video, you feel that you want to take a part of this and you want a discount code, hit me up uh, in the comments or actually better yet, it'd be better to hit me up in the Discord and then I can just DM you that code. I do have some 30% discount codes left, and I do have some 10% discount codes left. Unfortunately, I do not have any more 50 percenters. Another thing that I found out, and I hear it's a rumor because I can't find any documented uh, truth on this, but there is a rumor going around that on Black Friday, you will be able to stack these discount codes. So if you do have one of each, you can get 90% off one of these boxes. And these nanos themselves aren't too shabby. I'm looking at the Battleship one right now, and we're all talking about, say for the Apocalypse, 19.20% laser damage. And that's just the main attribute, if you decide to go with that one. Now, the cheapest one in the bunch is the Cruiser skin, or nano. And here's a little tip for those of you industrialists out there. If you haven't gotten a nano core for your Coveter uh, ship yet, Possibly think about really getting this one and the reason being is this nanocore actually outperforms the thermomatic uh, Storm 2 core If you put them side by side, you'll see right now that the, the original ther uh, Thermomagnetic Storm 2 core gives a mining laser amount of 18% or a strip mining amount of 18% and an ore capacity of 18% whereas the uh, Neo Rain, uh, sorry, Neon Rain Core gives you 19.20% across the board. And this one actually only uses offensive uh, nanomaterials to upgrade this core as opposed to industrial. So, really, this one is the best bang for the buck. Now, I ran a poll on my community page uh, four days ago uh, when this event just about was starting. And I wanted to hear everyone's thoughts on what they thought of this event. Uh, was it a cash grab for the first Capital Rigs? Was it pay to win with the gotcha of uh, element? Or was this event something that was good and fresh uh, to see NetEase doing different things? Now, out of 163 votes, only 5% said it was a good event. Everyone else agrees that it's a cash grab. And now, the reason they are saying this is you can only have to go to reddit and see all the posts uh about this event and how the community feels and actually some players have even told me that this event itself was the last straw uh for them leaving the game proper but a member of trimark actually did the math on this and if you were to buy the boxes straight out of plex if you didn't have the plex and you had to buy the plex on the market uh currently at this value to uh, to purchase these boxes. And now remember, this was done on the 17th and Plex has soared uh, since then. So these numbers are actually very conservative. For the 1500 Plex box, you're looking at almost 2 billion ISK. 
for the uh, 20, sorry, the 2500 Plex box, that's 3 billion isk. For the 3500, the Battleship one, that's 4.5 billion isk spent on just Plex to buy this. And for the Faction Battleship, you're going to add 6 billion easily to buy this flat out. So, if you do have a, con uh, a discount code and you do plan on buying this, go ahead and get it. Because otherwise, you're going to be swiping that credit card. And yes, I understand that, you know, it's a mobile game and they need the money to enhance the game. But, as we're looking right now at a content drought and no plans for the future on the roadmap, it does leave the community a little shaky and weary of this event because they don't know what's coming in the future. They don't know what their money is going towards. So they don't even know if, you know, the con the capital's dropping was basically it and everyone's on their own from this point forward. So if you want to spend, go ahead and spend. Do not, I, I would say don't ostracize players in your alliance or corporations who did wail out to buy things. It's their flex, their wallets, they can do what they want. And again, not everyone is swiping that credit card because you do have tons of players sitting on a mountain of Plex. I, of course, was not one of them, and I did have to empty out my Plex wallet to get the Battleship Core. Now, also remember, with these Nano Cores, you don't just have to stick with what they designed. As you can see, I bought one here for the Apocalypse, and it's hot as hell. I call this one Tropic Thunder. I did go ahead and change the colors inside, and you can do that, and I, it just looks phenomenal. So, my overall opinion on this event, I do appreciate that NetEase has done something completely different, and I love the fact that they added a graphical element to it. However, I would like to see events in the future that are not so uh, economy-based driven, or at least, you know, lower the prices down on these boxes to a respectable level. If these were all at the 50% mark already, I can see that uh, being good. But other than that, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm sorry. I, I, I like the Nano, and I'm st struggling to find the other good points of this event. Well, one other silver lining to this is on that lucky chart, you can actually click on the pilot in the top 20 and you can see exactly who they belong to and for you bounty hunters and pvp hunters out there you know these top 20s do have a cap and if you are looking to kill caps well you now know the pilots who got the cores and with that i want you all to have a great week a great weekend fly safe and remember we are always one vision one purpose one front and if I don't see you beforehand and you celebrate it, have a great Thanksgiving holiday.